Thanks for joining us for the Action News Cable Update. I'm Michael Douglas. Here's a look at what's in the news. Severe weather appears to be headed to the area. Here in Metro Atlanta, some victims of the last April's tornadoes are keeping a close eye on the sky. People in Dunwoody are still rebuilding after tornadoes tore apart their community. Joyce Oscar has the story. Action News. A child is recovering after being accidentally dragged alongside a car while being dropped off at his Fulton County School. The second grader from Whiteford Elementary School was dragged dozens of feet down the road after his coat got caught in the car's door. His aunt drove away with him stuck alongside the car until his coat finally ripped apart. The child was not hurt seriously. A six-year-old girl has died following an accident involving a deer. The child and the driver of the car were both killed as a result of the accident in Douglas County. The deer ran into another car. It was tossed into the air, then landed on the windshield of the 46-year-old Esther Schubert's car. Schubert was killed instantly. The child died today. Investigators looking for a police officer's killer now have federal charges against a suspect. They indicate Jeffrey McGee likely has fled to Los Angeles. McGee is charged with murdering Villa Rica Captain Robbie Bishop along Interstate 20 on Wednesday. Bishop's ticket book and witnesses led investigators to charge McGee. Lots of questions remain unanswered. We have also learned that agents searching McGee's home in New York yesterday found a high-powered rifle, explosives, and a bulletproof vest. We'll be back with more on the Action News Cable Update. Former Governor Zell Miller's plan to provide classical music CDs for newborns has hit a sour note. When Miller announced the program last year, he said a private sponsor would pay the cost. Now, legislative budget writers have discovered they must add $85,000 to the Music for Babies project in order to keep it going. Some lawmakers suggest the program may not be worth the money. Falcon's fever is even taking over the halls of area schools. I'm afraid of Falcon and I'm here to stay. I'll bowl you over if you're in my way. Yay! These students at West Elementary School in Southeast Atlanta practiced cheers and made puppets for Falcon Spirit Day. The puppets represented everyone from cheerleaders to players, even Coach Dan Reeves with his repaired heart. Thanks for counting on the Action News Cable Update. Headline News continues here next.